welcome back to the sawmill. It is uh, Monday, November the 19th, and some good weather today. It's warming up. I had my toboggan and my gloves on this morning, but it's actually warming up a little. Now, this morning, what I'm doing is I'm moving the sawmill over here against this wall where I want it to be as far as operating it. And I had to rig up a little dolly on the tongue end down here. I'll show you guys with the camera in just a second what I'm talking about in order to roll it around in this building and get it into position. And I'll finally have an idea of what everything's gonna look like when the sawmill's in place right here as far as putting the tractors on this other wall and also some wood to be air dry. Now the tractors are temporarily gonna be put in here just to keep them out of the weather. I got the Mahindra to park in here and the New Holland and also my little uh, Cub Cadet. But uh, I'm gonna have plans probably after the first of the year to uh, break ground somewhere here on this property and put a small pole barn in order to park the tractors in and get them out of here so I can really have all this space on this other wall on this side for air drying wood. Let's get the sawmill pushed over against this wall and see how it looks. I think it's gonna be the best place for it. Let's see. So it's kind of hard to move these sawmills around unless you can get this tongue or the front of the mill off the ground. And uh, this is not OSHA approved by no means, I'm sure, but I got this little wooden dolly here and uh, actually the guy that we bought the farm from, he left it here. So we're making good use of it today. I got a metal beam that's kind of rusted up. There ain't much left to it, but it's stout enough to use for this purpose. Running on the cross of it there and got the front outrigger resting on it. But it's giving me just enough momentum here and getting this front end off the ground to where I can push this sawmill around and hopefully get it into position where I want it. I feel like I'm in football practice pushing a sled. This thing is heavy. All right, guys, I think this is where the sawmill is going to be best placed at and uh, go ahead and get the farm jack out here, and prop it up a little and get this little roller out from underneath it. And if you're not familiar with farm jacks, I should do a whole video just on how versatile this tool is. This is probably one of my top 10 favorite tools. Not because I just like it, because it's just so versatile. I've had this thing for about eight or nine years and it performs well every time, never has let me down. It's a great tool to have. They sell these on Amazon. I'll put a link down below to my store and uh, also Tractor Supply has them and feed stores and stuff like that. But a great versatile tool. It comes in handy all the time. Can't beat it. Now, I can push this out without knocking over the camera. Okay. It would be handy to have another set of hands right now, but I don't have them, so. Oh, that's going up. I got it straight before I drop it all the way down. I think this way just a little. There we go. Safely on the ground. That should be good for right now until I get my level out. Get all the outriggers going and really level it up better. All right, I got the sawmill where I want it. I think that's a pretty good position to have it in here. And uh, now I need to take off this small portion of the wall right here. It needs to come down. It's already attached halfway up. It was one of those ends that flapped up and down for ventilation in here. So four carriage bolts is all it's holding it on. So I'll take the sawzall and cut those off. And then this post right here, if I'm pointing to the right post, right there, that post will also be coming off. That way I can bring in 10 foot logs here on the side. I think 10 feet is the opening once I cut that off. It may be longer. Probably 12 feet. But uh, I don't saw nothing longer than 10 feet usually anyway, so 12 feet is plenty enough room. 
But before we get into that, I'm gonna hang the light over the sawmill. This is a special kind of LED light. It's about two feet long. And I think 25,000 looms. I'll check you out here in just a second. But I'm gonna hang that over top of the sawmill. If it works out good, I'll probably get two more and have three over the whole distance of the mill. So I'll get some good lighting in here when we're doing our videos. So let's get that thing out and hang it and see how that looks. Sure was expensive. It was almost $100, I think. There's a link down to Amazon below if you're interested in them. And uh, that's a lot of money to pay for a two foot light. It better brighten this place up. $100 for a light, that's high. I got some other ones from Walmart that were like $20. I'm gonna hang them in here as well. So we'll do a little comparison, see which one looks better. $100 for one light. Better make it like daylight in here. Let's get it going. I told you guys wrong, it's 15,000 lumens, which is still a pretty powerful light when you look at the uh, number of lumens it has. It's two foot, and with shipping, it's around $100 on Amazon. So, we're gonna give this thing a try and see how it does. Another channel I'll watch, uh, Northwest Sawyer. He used three of these over top of his LT35 a few months ago. And I think he got his at Home Depot, and I think it's pretty comparable in the strength of them. I think his are 15,000 or maybe it's 25,000. I can't remember. But uh, we'll hang this one up and see how it does. That brightened it up pretty good in here, actually, in this little space. I'm gonna tell a bigger difference at night and early in the morning, but uh, not too bad. In case you've never seen this before, this is another good use for the farm jack, pulling out fence posts. Does it pretty fast too, and it's pretty easy. And this post here is also set in concrete. So it's a pretty stout post to pull out of the ground. This farm jack here made short work of it. And this is not a commercial for the farm jack. Life is starting over The country life is through and Even the horses are getting restless I guess that I am too
I'll be coming off the mountain to the city when I move. It's not quite a hundred acres, no. 